Should I hire before I have the work? Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleanbiz.com. You know, that's a question I often get asked. You know, should I hire before I have the work or before I have the account? And, you know, there's a few things you want uh, to think about before, before you answer that. The first thing is think about the opportunities that you currently have. You know, so have you, um, do you have bids out? Uh, have you uh, gotten close to where you're closing uh, any of those bids? If so, well, that would be a, probably a good opportunity for you to where you could probably hire before you have the work, get the people trained in and ready to take on the new account. Now, something else you got to think about, though, is can you afford it? And what I mean by that is that you have to think about how much cash reserve you have in the bank. Because, you know, when we're going to hire one, two, three people, uh, we're still going to have to pay the payroll, and uh, that's got to come from somewhere, so we have to have a cash reserve. So think about that. So those are the two things that you really want to think about if, you want to, uh, if you're thinking about hiring before you have the work. Do you have the opportunity, and do you have the, uh, a cash reserve? Now, let's say, let's say you, you don't have very, uh, very uh, many opportunities, and you don't have uh, much of a cash reserve. Then what you want to do is uh, go out and get the accounts before you hire the people. Now, on the commercial side of things, it's kind of nice because uh, in most cases, you're going to have a, a grace period between, uh, between uh, taking over the account. It could be 15 days, it could be 30 days. But in either case, that gives you some time to get your, get your uh, employees in line, get them trained, and, and get them ready for taking over that new account. So that's great. You know, and that happened to us many a times. In fact, we had one place where we had, uh, I think it was around 120,000 square feet total. Uh, it was five buildings. And uh, uh, we took over that account, but luckily, you know, the transition period, uh, we had, I think it was 30 days uh, before we made that transition period, uh, which is fantastic because I needed 15 or 20 people at that time to, to take over this account. Uh, worked fantastic. I was able to go ahead and hire all these people and get all their training done and then the day that we took over the accounts we assigned everybody their 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 buildings and um, and each one of my supervisors went in and took took on a building themselves and had three or four people at each location so it worked out great so uh, anyway so that's what you want to think about you know if you should hire before you before you have the job uh, just think about if you have the opportunity and can you afford it if not then then go ahead and get the accounts first uh, uh, before you actually hire any employees. Well, that's it. That's all I have. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, if you did, go ahead and click on the like button. And uh, remember to always subscribe to our channel and watch for more videos.